Whoa! What? My beautiful little Hyundai that I wash and wax regularly. <laughs> okay, that was awkward. Um, I was filling my water thing for a clip for just the start of a video. And um, yeah, I noticed the Gerda car and I was like, okay. And then they were coming back and they were coming back like handy enough speed. So I was like, okay, flick up the camera real quick. Next thing, bonk. <laughs> Um, they hit the car, unfortunately. Um, they were so nice about it, very apologetic. They were like, oh my God, go and get the full thing fixed. Uh, no problem at all, get quotes and prices and blah, blah, blah. We worked out everything, insurance and everything. They just said, drop the invoice down to um, the Garda station. I said, no problem. They were very nice about it, God love her. Um, but it's hilarious how I was just, I didn't even want to film this bit. I was like, I'll do a bit where I like, because I had to fill, fill my window washer. So I was like, to start of this trip, I'll just, you know, film a clip open and this and this. And next thing, next thing they reversed, bonks. So the car is booked in to be fixed. The back bumper, I think, needs to be resprayed. So the, the guy in Hyundai said. Um, so he's booking that in, so that's going to get fixed. I wouldn't mind, but I look after this car quite well. I wash and wax it all the time. Why is my head so red? It's a really weird day outside. It's like, I don't know what temperature it is. It's hot though, but it's overcast. But there's also like um, an eclipse apparently. So it's hot. But anyway, what the video was actually going to be, apart from getting um, rammed, almost died. I almost died. The thing is, I was actually between the car and the pole. So if she came back... A lot faster than she was going. She came back nice and handy and she just hit, tipped the car, you know. But if she came back fast, you know, like people do, I do it sometimes. She would have caught me between the car and a pole and that wouldn't have been great. Um, but anyway, look, water under the bridge. We're all friends here. I'm sure they'll help me out in the future. And um, what you call it, we'll get the car fixed and... All's well that ends well. But anyway, what we're really doing is we're here at a tannery today. So you know a tannery where they make leather things. We're at one of them in Port Law and we're going to try and get in there. Now there is neighbours and you see them houses over there. They are looking out the window, some people, every now and again because this strange car is pulled up right in front of the gates of the tannery. Right there. Um, so I'm going to try and go down, there's an alleyway down there, I'm going to try and go down that way and get in that way if I can. But I see the tannery, it's off down there and I'm going to go and have a gander and see how I get on. But yeah, that's that's hilarious that that happened and uh, I'm so happy I got it on video because I said to them, hey I got this on video and they were like, oh no. Because they were like rubbing the bumper going, oh look it's not that much damage and I was like, mm, there's a scratch there that wasn't there before so I'm going to have to get that fixed, sorry. So anyway. I'll let you know if there's anything happens about that or the outcome, but as as for now, you can just presume that I sent the car in down the week and it got fixed and I got the car back and that's it. But anyway, let's start the actual video of the tannery, shall we? <laughs> I'm going to record that bit again. I'm just going to hop over this fence and uh, hope that no one calls the police on me. Make sure the car is locked. Screw so we'll see what's down here. First issue is a big tree. Oh, we're already up to the buildings. Great, I think there's a lot of buildings down here, so we'll see. It's a bit, it's a bit uh, rainy, so don't really want the, the camera out or the drone. Just having my wits about me. I never know who's around these spots. So I'm just coming around the back side of the building right now. It turns out this is not the tannery. The tannery is down there. I'm at the wrong building. I don't know what this used to be. I'll have a look inside anyway. Sorry about the wind. Oh, that's a big drop. Holy shit. So yeah, I can't get in there. Some ovens and shit in there. <laughs> but that's a big drop that I just jumped up onto that wall. So I gotta go back the way and down then, I guess, to get into the tannery. Give me a moment, I'll just give one quick look at this. Okay, now after getting some sketchy looks back up there by the gate, 
I'm coming to the tannery finally. So I don't think I'm going to spend a major amount of time here. Actually, it's huge. Holy sh crap. It's pretty big. A bit of a fire in here. Almost an explosion, it looks like. Well, you know what spoons mean. Means I'm getting out of here. Carefully. So with this, I'm kind of saving the best juice for last, which I would consider this big building. I'm just going down around, there's all other little buildings around. So I'm just gonna give a look around at them first. It seems like everything is fire damaged, as usual with any abandoned building. People have an obsession with fire, but So, there's another huge building down there. I'm gonna go down as far as the end of these sheds. Have a look, see what's here. It sounds like there's a river right outside there. More fire damage. Seems like someone had horses here or something. Someone was keeping grain inside there for some reason. That's how I actually found the place is I drove into the town and I just looked and seen this huge tower. Probably doesn't look huge on um, camera, but that is gigantic, that tower. Oh, there's a river right here. It's just signs for kayakers not to go near that weir because it's unnavigable. Didn't know that was a word, but hey, every day we learn. There's lots more sheds down here, look. I want to get to the base of that big stack as well. which is only over there. So we're gonna get to see the whole lot. This is an interesting site, very interesting. The only thing is there's, like everywhere, asbestos here again. All the roofs are asbestos. Don't know if this was an old loading bay. It's collapsed. So I just bought this tannery and we're ready to fire her up again. I'll have an electrician come out and look at that. Shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, that's actually the second floor fell out of there, down onto the ground. I just looked at it for a minute and figured that out. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of there pretty swiftly. Is this river access down here? Oh, nearly fell. So, I mean, it's just a double weir. If you're pretty good in a kayak, you probably navigate it, but I guess that they have to put that sign up so that if people do get mincemeated, you know.
I would love to know what bent that. Some kind of large machine. There's a huge way bridge, I believe. I think that's a way bridge anyway. The weather's actually cleared up, so if I go back to the car, I can launch the drone. Send her down here. But there's all broken asbestos. We want to try and avoid that if we can. People had cars in here. Look, they've been doing donuts. There's a real old, oh, it's a bench. So it seems that in Ireland, the general consensus is, oh, that's a big drop. The general consensus is set it on fire. Ah. No point arguing about it. What do you think this was? Do you think this was a way bridge or what? If you know what it was, let me know down below because I do not know what that is. Usually you can tell a way bridge, but I can't tell if that's one or not. It's a huge structure. I'll get the drone over actually and point it out. There'll be a little ring around it, a point at it so you can see from the top. Maybe I'll be able to work out what it is from there too. But it just seems like a huge slab of concrete. Anyway, time to get to that tower. Oh, there's a water tower. How do, wait, how do I get to that tower? Damn, it's this way. I'm going the wrong way. So I'm back in here where that pit is. I'm just trying to figure out how to get out to that tower. I can't actually see over, so I have to just take a second. So I'm actually not sure how to get to that tower. I'm gonna to go over to the building over, but I can't see like a easy path. And I don't know this area and there's huge drop offs like over there. So I gotta be really careful and watch what I'm doing. Okay. I'd love if that wasn't so busted. Okay, we're actually gonna walk the full way around and then go up a story. Same thing, rinse and repeat. Here's an old elevator that I'm 100% not stepping near. Four hundred and forty, four thousand four hundred pounds weight, rated. Medical equipment. Smoke grenade. One of those little harmless ones. I believe they did some sort of a drift event down here before. So that's probably where they they came from. Smoke grenades and stuff. Like compost. That tower haunts me. I want to get up to the top of the tower and stand on it and look around, see how far I can see. 
But by the looks of it, there used to be roofs. So, see there? There used to be roofs that covered all of this. This whole thing used to be covered. Not anymore. So I thought that this building, hold on. I thought this building wraps the whole way around, but it doesn't, it actually stops there. So we gotta get in this side to get to the other side of the building. And I had that zoomed in by accident, sorry. Ireland's fittest family. Actually, I believe they did an event in here too, which is crazy. Just like a boiler room or something. Yeah. A small boiler room. Oh, there it is. There's a big drop there though. An even bigger drop down there. But this is a tiny, actually, whoa, this is big drop there, big drop there. This is dodgy. There's a path going up there. I'm actually gonna go up there next, but I'll go in here first. That's how you know, remember the video of the Blue Lagoon? That's how you know water is really toxic because it gets really clear like that, like spooky clear. That's spooky clear water right now. I wonder if we can actually get to the base of the tower through here. So, this is wooden, right? So, I'll give you a little background to what I'm gonna do. This is wooden, as you can see, all the wood is breaking away over there. This is well covered, so the wood will be probably okay, but what I'll do is I'll walk right up against the wall here, because there's ledges that hold the wood up. So, safe tap? Not safe tap. Big drop. Again, and I'm on the way back. I gotta remember to walk right up. See if we can get to the tower. So here's more wood. You just gotta be super careful. And the answer is no, I can't get to the tower because the tower is just right there, but it drops off. So there's a door into it, but you can't access that door anymore by the look of it. So. <coughs> So I'm gonna head back and look at some of the other buildings and get that tower on drone footage. Also, if you know what this thing is, let me know. It looks like a huge old engine and there's all these temperature gauges, and pressure gauges and stuff here. So let me know if you know what that is. I presume it's something to do with the tower since it's between the tower and the building and the boiler room. So we're gonna take this little trail. Ideal place to have a session, I suppose. Bar the asbestos, but hey, what are you gonna do? Sounds like there's some kind of waterfall out here. Oh, there's a weir. A weir. Isn't that fab? So, I'm on a little platform here. That's the building we were just in. 
courtyards at the other side of that. This was some kind of thing for the river. No idea what. This is like the secret garden or something. Oh, my leg. There's a pipe running the whole way across into the building over there. Back in the main building now. Fire damage, surprise, surprise. Who's surprised? I don't know what that red thing is. It's like a barber thing. You don't think a barber puts around you to cut your hair? Oh, so there's another elevator. Hence why I didn't step in the first elevator. Because this is what's left of another one. I'm gonna stick the camera in, see what you can see. There's an elevator shaft that uh, didn't do too good. Old. Oh, there's a downstairs. Nah, just goes in around the corner there. I thought there was another, I thought there was a basement. I said, well, I'm definitely not going down there. Right, it's time to go upstairs then. We'll go up one floor and see how safe it is. So there are huge doors that have been knocked down. doors they weigh a lot I came down looks like the bracket broke we're on the second story now or the first story I'm gonna call it second story because I'm on the first floor or second floor I know some people would consider this the first floor but that's an argument we'll have another day here's like the overhang that's outside the building plenty of graffiti going on here fire damage you love to see it if I have to, if I can go up the second story here, I will. I'm not going up over there because I would consider that a little too unsafe. I can't see properly. It's very dark. Like, I'm just gonna bypass those stairs for a sec. Oh, here's the toilet. Toilets are obliterated. Oh, you see the first floor comes into the second floor up here. Elevators. So the old part of the building over there, the stairs would be quite unsafe, but these ones are concrete cast. They're absolutely fine to come on. Little bit higher now. More toilets, elevators. There's more there. I'm not going near. Uh, not going near any of the edges here. Here's the top of the overhang. I think we have one more floor to go up.
so there's the tower that I will not be climbing this floor I will not be going on this I would rather this solid concrete I'm not going on that floor out there that's the old part of a building um, but I'll just show you the yard Thank God there's non-slip, non-slip tape on these stairs, otherwise they'd be dangerous. Up another floor, same thing, bathrooms, elevator. The graffiti is getting uh, ruder the higher we go it seems. Static tights, static mites, or vice versa, I don't know the difference. Quite the way up. Wait a minute. Here's Ireland's fittest family. The graffiti they did. Fittest family. So it turns out they were here, so I mean it can't be that unsafe. Yeah, they did it. Their, their graffiti the whole way. I bet they got some good epic shots too. Ah, here. Sure, here it is, lads, look. Yeah, be ready to go again by Monday morning. Uh, that's the same stuff. Look at all these rusty pipes on the roof. How did they, oh, there we go. If that's not the most satisfying switch in the world to press, Whoa, life changing. Uh, we've one more story to go. How did they get permission to film in here? This is really dangerous. Last level. And we're up to the very top. Now, I do feel okay walking on this roof because, as I said, it is solid concrete. Um, and it's all pieced together, so chances of this falling down right now are very slim. Never zero, but very slim. We're in some kind of top, top room. Don't know what for. There's the other building that we've seen. There's some very rude graffiti around here. I know I'll spend some time blurring it, some of it out. I'm trying to get other stuff not on video, but it's just stuff that's very inappropriate and will get me canceled down the line, um, even though it's nothing to do with me. But anyway, there's the tower that we could never get to, because there is no floor at the end of that ladder. The roof is very, um, yeah, so I'm, just thinking about what I'm doing here and I'm gonna just stop because I'm on an open roof right I'm out on an open roof and there's no barriers or anything like that I'm just gonna go over and have a look at this thing could you see what's down there I can't fit my head in there um, yeah so I'm just gonna walk over a little bit here and then I'm gonna get off this roof and get out of here and get some drone shots because the weather is actually eased off so there's no rain so I'm happy to fly the drone but uh, we nearly got to the highest point I mean I was in that down there that's nearly there but the tower is a bit higher but uh, yeah we're doing quite well as it is so that's been this video I'm gonna put probably drone shots in here at the end I'm gonna get down the stairs and uh, get out of here and get some drone shots of that building over there and then get some drone shots of this and especially that tower there so hopefully all goes well anyway hope you enjoyed the video like subscribe comment do all that stuff and uh, i'll see you in the next one
Try to puff on the left side, put it up in your eye. 